What if we hit my Whoa! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's, it's got some kick to it in sport mode. Whoa! Yeah, this thing almost broke the front wheels loose, to be honest. Wow, this has got some pretty decent power, I'll be honest. Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to Peter's Auto Blog. This is Peter, hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Today I'm pretty excited to get behind the wheel of this 2023 Chevrolet Volt EUV LT. Now, why I'm excited is obviously this is gonna be the first time I wanna be able to drive an electric vehicle outside of a Ford product. Of course, I've driven the Ford 450 Lightning, I've driven the mach -E, and of course the E-Transit as well. But this is the first time I'm getting behind the wheel of a Chevrolet electric vehicle. And now, before we go on, I wanna give a big thank you to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this Chevy Volt. I'll put all their information and a link to their website in the description below. All right, so here we have a 2023 Chevy Volt EUV LT. The Chevy boat that we have with us here is done in a silver flare color, which is kind of like a silver that has many different tones. The way you look at it, depending on the way the light hits it, really, really cool color that Chevrolet did on this uh, electric vehicle. Now, this one, of course, being the LT model, this one's had two models. We got the LT and the Premier. This one does have the red line exterior package, or the, or basically the addition. Now we got some bright see red lines on the mirror here and the mirror caps as well as part of that package over here. You got turn signal integrated as well. We got 17-inch special wheels. For this model as well painted in black with the red striping as you can see guys this wraps around 215 millimeter michelin energy all seasons obviously those are really the special tire for this electric vehicle so you can see guys that color looks fantastic in the, in the way the sunlight hits it goes to orangey to a bit of blue really really cool color what chevrolet has done to this uh electric vehicle now of course this one here is a four-door kind of a smallish euv it's kind of electric utility vehicle that's kind of chevrolet will call it now it's really really cool so obviously we know the bolt electric car now this one of course they turned it into a little mini SUV. It's got plenty of room inside. Really, really cool what Chevrolet has done. It is the first time I'm going to drive, you know, an electric vehicle besides any Ford product. I have not driven anything from Tesla or Toyota or anything from Subaru that we have all those electric models. Now, of course, this SUV unfortunately is the last year that Chevy is building this Chevy Volt EUV. 2023 is the last year that they're doing it. Uh, Chevrolet is revamping their basically their plans for the electric Silverado. So this is going to be the last few months that you can order. If probably yeah, maybe just a few more, uh, maybe a month or two more that you can order one of these Chevy Volt EUVs. Now this one of course is really really cool the way the styling is in the front of course we got no type of uh you know grill anything that's just being an electric vehicle where we got some nice daytime running lights here you can see we got the main headlight here on the bottom really really cool what is the design is pretty cool i like, like it's kind of futuristic but uh, it's a really nice clean modern design to this chevy bolt euv now so i mentioned guys it's got the uh the, the basically the red line edition package which gives you all those lines the wheels obviously it's got you know energy saving tires we got the blacked out trim as well here on the outside. so we got also some roof riders as well and silver really really cool what we have done and coming down here part of that package you also get this red bolt eub lettering as well here for identify the, the model that's truly really, really cool the addition to that and also inside we have also some red stitching on the leather right, seats let's go check out the rear of this hatch guys so you can see guys we got here with us it's open close it's kind of just start because obviously this doesn't really start it just kind of turns on as an electric vehicle so let's go ahead and guys and just open it up and check out the back of this chevrolet ev so we see we got a backup camera as well and uh there we go guys so here we go coming to the hatchback area of this suv obviously we got you know, a little bit of a different space i think it's about 16 cubic feet of space i'll put that information for you guys on the screen uh we also have a pretty good amount of size here on the bottom this goes a little bit more further deep inside as you can see got plenty of space here in the back although it's kind of smaller but if you put the seats down you're gonna have plenty of space as well we have a little bit of shit here, a cover for your for your cargo. I don't see any type of uh, 12 volt connection here at all. Basically, just kind of some some hooks and stuff like that. We got an LED lighting here, but other than that, that's about it for the rear of this back area of this Volt EUV. So let's go ahead, guys, and drop the 
the hatch here you can see you got a rear view camera there you can see the Chevy Bolt's got a really nice pattern there as well and of course the red lettering that really stands out on this should be the red lane edition so racing up the hood we're going to just slide the latch a little bit left here open up the hood of course we got no hydraulic assistance we're just going to put the little thing we're indicated here all right so here we have the front of the Chevy Volt now of course not a lot to look at just big, big boxes and electrical electrical wires but so here we have a 150 kilowatt electric motor producing 200 horsepower 266 pound feet of torque of course that's going to do the direct drive transmission now this one has about 165 kilowatt battery producing about 247 miles of range so of course i give or take depending on how you drive now of course this one if you go to a fast charger a dc charger you're looking at about 95 miles in about a half hour of course that's depending on how good the electrical system is or where you're charging of course as we know anything outside of tesla's charging system it's a pretty hit and miss with electric charging i've, I've seen a lot of uh youtube videos a lot of uh, blogs saying that you know of course you go to one station you don't find it working or it's charging a halfway so it all depends but hopefully that gets better because obviously if everybody wants to go to electric vehicles or at least it's going to be a little more percentage of those cars in the future we're going to have to need a more robust electrical system and faster charging times as well so let's go ahead and drop the hood get this little thing back inside there no heat at all anything that's pretty cool not look warm so all right all right let's go ahead and check out the interior of this chevy well as you can see guys this one since it has the red line uh, package you get the red stitching on the seats as well which is really really cool this is all full leather seats here, as you can see really nice interior a lot of nice it's, it's pretty soft materials here a little bit plasticky but not too bad at all considering this is a you know, lower base level you know for a thirty thousand dollar eb which is pretty not bad at all I mean, it's great for pricing for a electric vehicle so let's go ahead guys and uh, get inside so jumping into the inside of this the back seat of this chevy bolt euv a pretty good size plenty of room as you can see this seat's a little bit further up but still got about three inches of room here i'm about 5'11 it's still got plenty of uh, headroom really really nice of course we get a great headliner but uh plenty size plenty uh really really easy to fit in here in the back the seats are comfortable they don't recline or anything like that or, or adjust so as you can see i've got plenty of uh, space here in the back really nice for two comfortable adults fits really really nice uh down here we only have two usb connections no uh, ac outlets or anything like that pretty simple but we got a light here on the top uh, we also have a center armrest as well you can put this down here and a couple of cup holders but overall not bad at all it's got plenty of room plenty of space uh especially for you know longer uh, or bigger adults and uh pretty nice back yeah, here heading at all, to the driver's side of this chevy bolt as you can see guys we got a little more of that red stitching here that's part of that red line package we got a little bit of leather consoles for your windows and mirrors of course we got this opening in that little bit this actually it's not it's pretty soft not hard plastic at all a little bit of aluminum trim or, or gray painted trim which is really nice a little bit of cubicles here on the side and now we're here coming to the inside of course we got power seats we got of course our red leather seat as well which is really nice these are cooled and heated as well it's just in this package that this one has so that's a pretty interesting uh, model or pretty interesting the way these are packed of course we got a leather steering wheel here as you can see we got some more aluminum trim here it's a pretty nice interior to be honest for, for about thirty thousand dollars for this ev it's got a pretty decent interior to be honest so, so we're inside of this chevrolet volt euv which well, is really interesting interior it's a pretty nice interior very roomy uh, it's got a pretty decent materials to be honest i mean everything's really nice got some leather here on the dash and some aluminum trim we got a 10 inch screen here as you can see a 10.1 inch screen uh, we also have a smaller screen here about a seven inch screen here in the middle which for your information so the steering wheel feels really nice Nice. It's leather as well. It's got a really nice feeling in your hand. A bit of aluminum trim, as you can see. Uh, the console, everything as well, is really done well. So, uh, but excellent SUV overall. Let's go ahead, guys. I can't give you a rep. Obviously, let's just go ahead and turn on this Chevrolet EV and go ahead and plug in charge. Now, sure, let's go ahead and hit the start button. And uh, of course, there's no engine starting on or anything like that. Just everything, all the systems turn on. You can see Chevrolet. And we got the AC heading because we got quite a bit of hot day today here in Florida. We're at about 95, 97 degrees, so it's pretty warm and humid right now. So as I mentioned, you guys, it's my first time driving anything besides a Ford mach -E or something from Ford. Now, this is my first time driving an, an EV from other, another manufacturer, which is kind of exciting to do. But I really like this uh, Chevrolet EV. Let's go ahead and uh, shut the door because we got all this type of uh, annoyances of all these chimes going so as you can see guys really nice interior we got little you know, digital screens we got everything here now let's go ahead and uh, before we go on let's go ahead and take a look at the the sticker price of the chevrolet which kind of what was funny was i found it inside the glove box so as you can see guys here we got 2023 chevy Volt eub this is a silver flare metallic of course with jet black interior with the red stitching of course because of the red uh the red um red line 
package. Now, as you can see, this one starts at just over $27,200. Basically, that's what it starts off. This one has, of course, a convenience package, which gives you the leather seating, the heated and ventilated seats as we're in right now, which feel fantastic. Uh, of course, we got map pockets. Now, this got the comfort package. We got the steering wheel that's heated as well. We got the seat adjustment, a wee adjustment seat. We got the front passenger and of course, both seats are heated and cooled. And of course, we also have the red line appearance package for $495, which gives you the black interior with stitching, the red accents in the outside, the red black rear badge, the outside mirror stripe. Of course, we got the driver confidence package, red cross, rear cross, not red cross, rear cross traffic alert, lane change alert, and of course, blind sign alert. Well, for a price, a grand total price of $31,675. Now, of course, Bartow Ford's asking just under 33 for this one, so I guess they think they're still short-handed on this one, but um, it's not bad. Obviously, somebody will probably get it for about asking price. It's still a brand new vehicle. It's only got 6,100 miles on it. So as you can see, guys, it's pretty much, uh, like I say, America's, you know, probably cheapest the EUV. I mean, obviously, electric vehicle, and it's got plenty of space, plenty of amenities. As you can see, guys, we've got a pretty good size glove box. Uh, we got a 10-inch screen here. That's got Apple. If you see all, oh, let's go back home. As you can see, guys, we got Apple CarPlay and our auto. We also have uh, Master Relate, Amazon Alexa. We got Spotify, all kinds of things you can do. The OnStar services as well, as you can see here. For security, we got of course six speakers on this. One. This one has a base speaker, uh, six speaker system, which is not bad at all. This doesn't sound too bad. Not had a bad audio system for what you get. Pretty, pretty nice. As you can see, guys, the screen is really nice and clear. Uh, we do have a backup camera as well. If we put this in reverse, as you can see, we got a pretty good size backup camera, the whole size of the screen. We have trajectory lens as well. So as you can see, the way I got the, the brake on right now. But as you can see, then we can turn those on and off, which is pretty cool. But the camera and the graphics are pretty well cleared up as well. Really nice graphics. Let's put this back on park. Of course, we got all controls for your AC. We got the heated and the cool seats. We got also drive modes as well. We do have a sport mode. This is the regular mode and just sport mode, which I'll leave it on sport mode. That's the channel we are. Drive control off. And of course, we got lane departure. We also have a wireless charging pad here as well. Of course, your direct speed automatic, which we got P, our course parking, reverse, neutral, and drive. We got basically a button for hill descent or hill exist. Parking brake, and of course, we got some cup holders here. We got also a little more armrest with no connections inside. Just a little more storage space there as well. But everything looks cool. I mean, the seats are nice. There's plenty of space here. I'm really surprised how, how much space there is in this EU, as you would call it. But uh, really, really nice. Of course, here in the center screen, we got all types of information. Then you can scroll through radio. We have apps and navigation. If you want to do navigation there, you can do all kinds of radio. And if we go back here, of course, you got also nav. You can put some navigation. So there's all kinds of things you can do. Lots of information here you can display as well. And of course, we got a digital speedometer. Of course, we got no tech because this doesn't really rev, obviously. But overall, not bad at all for this stuff. All the information that you have on this. And SUV. Of course, oh, I don't know if SUV. I mentioned before, but Chevrolet is, of course, this is the last year for this one. But also Chevrolet from last year, they cut the price at $6,000 on this, if I'm correct, or I'll put that information for you on the screen. But about $6,000, they cut the prices on this uh, Chevy Volt EUVs to, and of course, all the Volt electric vehicles too. Just be more competitive. And you also have also as well about $7,500 of tax help from the government if you're going to get one of these EVs or this hybrid. So uh, all, all in all, a much better way to incentive to get one of these as well. And this is a pretty nice vehicle too. So let's go ahead, guys. So let me put on our seat belt. We always go and go out for a drive and see how this drives. I've only driven it here about half, about a quarter of a mile to this parking space here. So I really haven't experienced the driving pleasure of this, this EUV. So this utilitarian electric vehicle. So let's put this thing on drive. We gotta put this little bit handle here. Already set up. Your things lock, and uh, we're off. And driving this Volt EUV. I would say SUV, you can call this a little smaller SUV. So really, really cool. You know, obviously driving this vehicle is a very quiet, uh, very interesting drive. Considering I just drove the Audi RS5 Sport Pack, that's just another little monster. Uh, yeah, this is just, you know, it's a quiet vehicle. It's comfortable. Uh, feels refined too. It's really interesting the way this feels, to be honest. Brake pedal feels normal. Nothing weird out of that. Because obviously every time you brake, you got generative braking to help out recharge the battery. But it doesn't really affect it, to be honest to you. This feels pretty normal brake pedal. Let's go this way because I see some of the people are working here. So we are on sport mode. So it's got some pretty good pickup, nothing crazy, but it does go pretty well. And let's see how this sounds. Oh yeah, this, this is a little bit heavy. You can tell it's not, doesn't want to do performance or a little bit fast cornering at all, but overall very quiet and smooth ride so far. And we'll check it out in just a few, but yeah, this ride's nice. 
it feels pretty pretty refined to be honest more refined than obviously the quietness helps but very nice that the the gas on no, my phone is sorry it's slapping back and forth but this feels pretty refined pretty nice very simple very car like you know in terms of the gas the way it feels uh you know of course you get a little bit let off you get a little bit of generator breaking out oh, look at that guy he just went all the way this way uh but i'm very impressed very impressed with this little chevy vault euv i want to wait just a little bit because obviously that guy's hitting out somewhere um but wow this is a little impressive little suv and especially all the electric front wheel drive obviously most of these are all wheel drive or rear wheel drive but um man this is pretty nice to be honest all right so let's get this guy go and then let's just uh, press a little bit let's go wow it's got some pretty good yeah it doesn't, it doesn't feel slow by any means it's got some pretty good pep uh, quiet it does i mean oh man it's just got it's got decent pickup to be honest with you wow i'm impressed for, you always find that torque, you know, pretty down low and it just the torque is instantaneously from down, you know, from basically instantaneous torque. So, but this, this thing feels nice. I mean, the ride is very comfortable. It's a quiet SUV. Everything's on your fingertips, even though it's got all digital screens, but you have some manual controls for your AC at least and everything else is the, the radio is all controlled through the via to the screen, but I'm sure you can get used to it pretty easily. But uh, this is very nice, very comfortable. I really like it. It's quiet. You got the AC blowing pretty nicely, considering that uh, you know that. But wow, this is you know you got everything at your fingertips here. It's like of course you got no navigation on this one at all. So I see you just got all kinds of information. But I, th I think if you go to the Premiere, you get the navigation as well. Uh, but this is not bad at all. I mean, you got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Everything's pretty well done here. Um, I like it. Very nice, super quiet, no noise at all. Kind of interesting. You hear, I go from a sports sedan, pretty high in sports sedan, to something like this, which is quiet, refined. I mean, it's nice. I mean, it's just such a different experience, to be honest. Um, but it's really nice. I mean, the quality of materials on this thing is pretty, pretty nice, to be honest. More, I'm probably more impressed with this little SUV. And for less than about 30 grand, and if you step on it, of course it's front wheel drive, but it does go. I Man, it's no sludge by any means, and it's just fun. I don't know if there's any noise being synthesized through the speakers. It just kind of has a little bit of whining noise to it, but very minimal. But it's very quiet, and I like it. I mean, it's just a serene drive. You know, it just you got only a little bit of road noise. The tires aren't making any noise. It's just mostly road noise and bumps and a bit of wind noise. But overall, it's really nice, to be honest. I want to just kind of be quiet for a few moments and just to see how this drives and feels. Yeah, it does slow down a little bit for generative braking. Yeah, it's re engineering right now. Obviously, with the brake a little bit more. But if we... Whoa! <laughs> yes, it's, it's got some kick to it in sport mode. Whoa! And this thing almost broke the front wheels loose, to be honest. Wow, this has got some pretty decent power. I'll be honest. It's pretty yeah, fun. Sir. Pretty Obviously. impressive, this uh, Chevrolet Volt. I really like it. It's uh, refined. It's it's quiet. It's got plenty of power. I'll be honest. It's pretty decently quick. It makes sense. I mean, obviously for less than you know, this one they're asking about thirty-three thousand, thirty-two thousand. So it's still except pretty much got a lot of options except for navigation. I would say, or the premier model. But this is a pretty well loaded model. Uh, it's got heated cool seats, all that stuff. You know, as I mentioned. So I really like this uh, this Chevy Volt to be honest with you. So much better than I expected. But I feel, of course, maybe the Mach is a little more refined, a little bit quicker, uh, a little more playful in the terms of the handling department. But that's still it's probably a little bit heavier as well. But this thing is not bad at all. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with this SUV. Let's see. Oh yeah doesn't want to yeah obviously this is heavy it's about 3800 pounds but it does go i mean just get up to go and see so you can see whoa he easily gets up to speed very easily very nice very smooth as well you can't feel the shifts obviously it's direct there's no shifts but sorry about that but yeah it's just super smooth very nice there's a little bit of road road noise but uh, other than that wow very impressive for this little electric suv for the money yeah refined yeah, you got a pretty much a bank for your buck. I really like this. This is pretty nice, especially for a city, 247 mile range. Man, I've seen a lot, but that's pretty good. What basically what the Ford Mach E gives you? It's obviously for a drive a little bit smaller, a little bit taller. It might say a little more practical. I may say, but that part about the same. But great little vehicle overall. Obviously. Oh man, then we have a cop. Hopefully, he sees me. I don't have a 
I don't have a rear plate, but hopefully not. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think of this SUV. I mean, it's pretty nice. It's a hell of a nice car. For the $30,000 you're looking at this uh, SUV, you can't go wrong with one of these at all, I'll be honest. So, uh, all right, guys, if you guys like this type of content, please subscribe. I want to thank every one of you guys to have me, that helped me uh, get to 1,000 subscribers. And then we're, we're past the mark. Thank you so very much for everybody that has subscribed. I really appreciate it. So we're going to get to the more content. So lately, we are just trying to be, in, be probably moving very soon. So I'm going to be busy with that. But I'm trying to get to some of these videos as soon as I can for you guys. And I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying them. We're going to get definitely more content coming up in the next few weeks. So, But um, very impressed, guys. Just uh, in conclusion, very impressed with this Chevy EV. Uh, I really like it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, for thirty-two thousand dollars, quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of SUV to be honest. It's a smallish side, not for everybody, but if you want an electric vehicle for in town, for the city, man, this is pretty nice to be honest. I I really really enjoy, been enjoying this uh, Chevrolet V, guys. Than so. I was expecting to do so, but a really cool car from from Chevrolet nonetheless, absolutely. And the cool seats feel nice too in this Florida weather. Do we have a thermometer in here? I don't see one, but. Um, definitely it's gonna be at least 97, 98 degrees outside. It's so hot here in Florida, especially with this uh, this GoPros, they start tend to overheat. So I gotta stop, and this thing just shuts down on me. So, that's it. I think you can probably do more gen braking. This doesn't have all of it activated, it slows down a little bit, but. Man, if you punch it, this damn, this thing just breaks, breaks the tire loose. Now, obviously, they're very thin tires, 215 millimeter tires, but man, this thing's got some power. <laughs> so, all right, guys, in conclusion, for the price, man, it's pretty hard to beat this type of good performance. Uh, you know, it's got, uh, you know, it's an electric vehicle. It's pretty affordable, to be honest. You can find, you know, any, any car is going to be in the $30,000 range anymore. So, uh, it's got plenty of space for everyday car. This is fantastic. I think Chevy, you know, unfortunately, they're not going to build this anymore for 2024. So we'll see what Chevy does in the future. But uh, great car, great car, guys. I would really recommend something like this. This is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and set up the reverse camera. As you can see, the graphics are very well, very clear. It's got a bit of grainy. It's just a big screen, but the graphics and the traction lens do a really nice job. But um, let's put this in park. But uh, there we go, guys. 2023 Chevrolet Volt EUV LT with a Lightning package. Fantastic little car for the price. Too bad Chevy's not making these things anymore. But if you guys like this type of content, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Give me a comment down below to see if you guys and somebody has one of these and are enjoying it. How's it been reliability wise? I mean, it's an electric motor. I don't see this thing breaking down except maybe for battery issues or something like that. But other than that, uh, you get a good warranty too. Eight years, 10,000, 100,000 miles for electric, all the electric components. So that's a pretty good. Uh, basically warranty from Chevrolet and 430, 36 on the rest of the car. So, but uh, thank you very much guys for watching. You guys have a fantastic afternoon and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.